take me away You gotta take me on in the night Will you take me on in the night Blow me away Hello? Yeah, and basically we want to come down and take a look at that tilt-a-whirl. Well, it's a tilt-a-whirl, and a tilt-a-whirl is, is a standard on every carnival midway. I think everybody in America has ridden on them. My name is Joe Skirbeck, and I'm a carny. My great-grandfather bought his first mirror ground in 1897. They were at the Columbian Exposition in 1894, and that's where the original Ferris wheel was. That's my grandfather up there walking the wire. And my father took the show over, and then my brother and I took the show over. I took it over in 1972, I think, and my brother joined as a partner as soon as he turned 18. My name is Bill Skirbeck, and I'm a carny. I grew up on the carnival with my parents, and my brother and I started running it. We started out with eight rides, and we know in the mid 40s. The original Frank Skirbeck had a linen factory that he traded for a circus. Worked with P.T. Barney Circus in the 1870s. Carney is somebody that travels with the carnival. If they make it out of town, they're a carney. I talked to you a couple of weeks ago about that tilt. Yeah, it is, it is. It's a, it's a tough way to make an easy buck. Okay, thank you. The lady said she would have more sons, they'd probably still be in the business. It just got real rough relying on help. It's a family operation. It's a family show. I have my family out there and there are other family members out there. Hi, my name is Carly Skirbeck and I'm a Carney. Uh, my name's Shooter and I'm a Carney. My name is Nikki Skirbeck. My name's Todd. Tony. Dustin. And I'm a Carney. We're going to have a dinner party tomorrow. Maybe so tomorrow or Wednesday. It's probably tomorrow. Wednesday's my poker night. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to pick up tonight. times that it's tough to be family and business together. There's positives. There's a lot of positives. We get along, but we fight a lot. I've never not been on the road. Six months I'm on the road. I don't come home for six months. I like it. And I hate it. If you're asking about my living quarters, this is it right here. Yeah, that's where I live. It's 48 foot long. Let's get it on. I have three kids now in a trailer. And there were times where you, you thought, okay, now we're free time, but something comes up. We devised this plan. We'd be like, Bobby, here's $50. Let's go to a movie. Take all the kids to Taco Bell and stay for a couple hours. And then the help caught on to it because the help would all be like, feel happy today? And I'm like, what are you talking about? And then we'd all laugh. Is that necessary? <laughs> So you have to kind of blend working and, and family life all, all together. His two daughters came down. That's how I met Tori. We started dating. She went out on the road. I went out to visit her. And uh, I was working in the court gun game the first weekend I was out. Made about two weeks salary over the weekend. So, so I decided that uh, maybe I'd quit my job and start doing that. The next summer, Tori got pregnant. So Didn't Shooter say, like, I'm only out here because I knocked Tori up? <laughs> Joe didn't have a shotgun, but... We didn't work on wedding, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Instead of a shotgun. teased a lot. I'd say Carney and call me a thief and a cheat. And that Austin Powers movie came out with the line. What's the other thing that scares you? Carnies. What? Circus folk. Nomads, you know. Smell like cabbage. Small hands. Indeed. I might not be a brain, brain rocket scientist, but I can make a pretty damn good corn dog. I'm always easily convinced to do anything that's opposite of what I'm already doing. My job previous to this was working in the group home for the mental ill, so. Easy transition. Yeah, so uh, it was an easy transition. <laughs> yes, I'm a cheerleader a dancer, and play piano. My favorite thing about being a carny, the freedom of it, is traveling around, and the mystique. Well, I've never had a normal job before. I've always worked for my parents. Traveling downstate, crossing roads you would never have taken before. It's just kind of a new challenge every day. It's like you're living in your own special little world, kind of. 
In a way, a carnival is more like a, a, a small tribe or a small society. Yeah, we're definitely a lot closer than most families. The whole idea of things is tradition. I got up Sunday morning and it's a morning. Oh, happy year! That's show, I don't think about it. I gotta keep up with that too. They're not here right now. <laughs> I just don't like sometimes long hours, it just kind of wears on you. Long hours, but fun. New backyard every week. Actually, it's almost time to get back on the road. We've been in this spot too long. I always look forward to getting back until about a month on the road, then I wish I hadn't. I don't know what it is about being in the carnival business, but it was a little bit different experience than what I thought I was going to experience. I don't know what I'll do the rest of my life. Good Lord, living, I'll have a long life. And go out like my great-grandfather did. He was on the midway, on the mirror ground, and he told the ride operator, we're going to do one more ride. And the ride went on and on and on and on. And finally the operator stopped the ride. And uh, my grandfather had passed away sitting in the chariot seat there. And that's a perfect way for a carnival person to go out, I think. <laughs> 